sorry Burka didn't get on my back. Oh, Burka is quite a nut. Let me check the key on here. Hey, Shasta. did swallow a beach ball and the reason for that is is just in case there's a flood here she can gather all the kitties on her back and go floating along in our flood waters and just kidding but she is getting a little chubby wubby you guys remember that Tilo here is one of Raza's babies the older he gets the more he looks like her in the face so anyhow my notes is Oh, today we got, today, this morning was absolutely awesome. This morning we got the um, washer and dryer, and we're thrilled to pieces about the washer and dryer. It, it's just awesome. There's um, features on it that makes um, energy efficiency and um, the, the duration of the washing, because these, these things aren't really, really, <laughs> oh, Sherry, you're going to be in trouble isn't um, really dirty they're just hairy so we always do a short cycle on it um but the washer and dryer is awesome i love it love it love it and you know a lot of times in the mornings when i'm starting breakfast i do um i take the rugs and i just kind of poof them up to get the hair off of them and uh, make sure there's no germs on them of course and this has a perfect cycle for it it's a steam cycle and we're just super excited about it. I'm I'm so grateful for uh, Mr. and Mrs. Anonymous. I am just really, really grateful for what they've done to us, for us. So this morning, that's what happened, um, the washer and dryer. And also we took out Bella's sutures this morning. I'll get her out in a little bit and show you her, her little shaved area. It's looking really good. The other thing about Bella today was uh, they graduated from uh, June's room right across the hallway at Cat's Corner Room. So Bella and her three little charges are over there. Nuki, uh, Weasley, and um, Dulcie are all over in the next room. And that it has always been Bella's favorite room. I can put her beds in there and she, she just has always liked that room. So she's been real happy in there. And But when we're done here, I'll show you Bella's little, little bum area. There's one spot that's a little red, uh, a little concern on that. I, I just don't want any redness, any swelling, no sores, no nothing. So uh, the incision looks awesome, looks really good. And instead of her her floor bedding being like, you know, this thick, how Jody and, and Stacy are always padding her like this thick all over, we've got it down to just two layers now to start um, toughening up that area. And for the first time, Bella was so cute. When she went in there, her favorite place to be is on a perch. It's about this high. She just zip, zip, zip right up there just like nothing was wrong. So we're hoping for the best. And then the other thing this morning, our pole is back. This is a, a real tree branch that's been in there all this year. Brad, Brad, who makes a lot of this furniture for us, he it's actually all brand new except for the tree branch. The paddles that he put on years ago have been worn so much that they were literally, literally just, oh, it was just thousands of um, scratchies in them. So this time they're made of cedar. They're just beautiful. I love cedar. And then this is all new hemp rope. Uh, years ago, he actually took it back with him again, and he took all the old hemp rope off and reversed it. And when he came back a few couple weeks ago to get this to do it over again, you couldn't even tell. I mean, it, it, the cats use this for a lot. So, and the other thing, I don't know if you can notice it from the cam, but these, uh, the paddles that they walk on are about two inches wider. So maybe the kitties won't fall, the babies won't fall off as easily. 
Uh, Kurt today also, this has been a really busy day. Kurt, um, our racer friend Kurt has also been out in Cat Kitty City and he's got some of the brackets on the wall. Oh my goodness, Wonder. Oh, okay, baby. He's got some of the brackets and he's starting to work on the shelves. Uh, that will go and go around the room. He's kind of got an idea now of the design that he's going to do and they're all stained uh, color. It's blue. I think I showed it to you one time. Blue, green, red, and yellow. And they're they're really pretty. It's going to look really cool on that white wall out there. Um, I'm going to be very sad on Wednesday. My fa one of my favorite cats out here, which I love them all, but this one I really, really extra love is Zelda. Zelda has a high possibility of being adopted on um, Wednesday. A uh, lady who has recently lost a cat of hers is very lonesome to have another cat again. So Zelda is our girl who is black and white. Remember she came in, she had been caught between two, a building and a row of uh, blocks, uh, blocks and in trying to get out, she made those real big holes on her hips, which it's all healed now, of course. She's got one scar. It's about the size of a, of a nipple, maybe, on her one hip. But I love that girl. Just love her. She's, I, I keep telling her, if I could take one more kitty in my house, I would take her. And, and Cabbage, and Farah, and Asha, and a whole bunch of them. But especially Zelda. I, I just love her. Um, Nika Ross is here, right? I said it right this time. Sherry, yep. you might have seen her scooting around all, all uh, day. Or oh, she's been here since this afternoon. And Nika, where, or Sherry, where are you from? Bloomington, Indiana. And how long a drive? About four, well, I had a detour, so about four and a half hours. Nuki Mom, I played with your baby and took pictures. Which one's her? Nuki. Oh, oh yeah, oh, her, her own, oh, okay. Yeah. I was thinking she had another favorite here, too. I just, I've been trying to take the ones I can. Okay. And can you, you're going to post, do you I'm, have like a Flickr? I'm going to make a Flickr account. I haven't ever done it, but I'll do it. Okay. Okay. So yeah. maybe when you get back, you can do it. You can let us know. Yeah. Okay. I know she's been taking a lot of pictures this afternoon. And you're staying the night. Yeah. And be back tomorrow. Cool. Okay. Good. We love visitors here. And we had a whole lot of them late afternoon. Um, some of most of the people that uh, were here late, this late afternoon have been here before. Um, so we love visitors. Love to have you webcamers come. We have some questions here. If I can read my writing, I know that is a very bad problem. The hurt. What is that saying? The hurt, hurt, hurrier I go, the sloppier I get. Jack had asked how Kellen's fundraising program is going. And it's going, it's going good. And what I get such a kick out of, we had, we had put together 35 of those packets. And so many of you that bought those packets, um, lots of you said just go ahead and give those packets out to one of the adoptive cats or kitties, which I've gotten such a kick out of that. But we've been sending them out. And Kellen has, as of yesterday, gotten the money for the computer. And Karen was hopeful, so she kind of took a step of faith and ordered it a couple of days before we actually had all of the money in. Um, and it's awesome. I was is spending some time with Kellen in there now looking at it. Um, what K Karen really wants to do now is to be able to order the special apps that the doctors have recommended for. K Kellen's awesome. and. But she's got some specific problems that there's applications that we can order to help guide her in some of those areas. Um, but the ones that this computer came with are awesome. It, there's some spelling, easy spelling, which there's it progresses as she gets better, and lots of finger control. But there's some on behavior issue things too that are. Uh, some of the ones that Karen would like to get ordered, but she's got the actual portable one. Uh, maybe if I catch her, I'm not sure what they're doing in the house right now. I can have her come out and show it that to you guys. Carmela asked when Bella gets to come out. Oh, that makes me very, very nervous to think of her out here yet. Um, we're going to do a couple more days in there. She wants out, and that's what's breaking my heart. She wants out. Um, I think we'll probably 
start doing, even if she got out five minutes, you know, a day, <laughs> and then we'll lengthen it out. We just have to make sure that bottom toughens up again because this is like a brand new stump for her, and there's still a lot of stress issues on that stump. And remember, this stump does not have um, what the muscle mass that was on the other stump, so we have to be very careful with our process on that. Uh, Nuki, yes, Nuki, little baby kitty, was way better than what Weasley was for her va his, the vaccination, so way to go, Nuki. Weasley, it does have a little bit of a cold. I think a lot of you caught that already. Got a little bit of a cold, um, a head cold, but gosh, she's eating better. We have been, just because I get paranoid about weights, and he has not gained all that much, so we've been supplementing his feeding a little bit. And he does it real fine. Gets all messy and crummy, and then we give him back to Bella, and Bella cleans him up. Um, Beth asked if I got the card. I've got two cards here I'm going to open up, so we'll check. I think yours is up there. Beth was here this morning with her kitty, her mama kitty, who is beautiful. And we gave her her second vaccine because she was seen at our wellness clinic, so we are able to do that second vaccine for her and warmed her. And we got to see the babies, who are just awesome. Told uh, Beth that if, uh, if she needed help with placing any of the kitties, that we would take them into the rescue center if she needs us to. Nick asked how Wiggles is doing his poor little limp. You guys are awesome. The first thing, as soon as I came out, and I usually bring phones out with me in case my mom calls, um, but I left the one in there. But someone had called, Kurt heard it, and came out and told me to check Wiggles out because he was limping. And golly, he really, really was limping. It was his, it was his wrist, and it really was sore. I started feeling up here, feeling no swelling, no nothing, but as soon as I hit his poor little wrist, he wow. So we gave him a little bit, just a tiny, tiny baby, baby dose of uh, pain med and anti-inflammatory. Stuck him in Bella's room, mainly just to keep him quiet uh, so he wasn't running around out here. He went in and he did sleep a while, all snugged up with Bella. It was so cute. And then he started, when he woke up, he started rocking and rolling in there. And it's like, you get out here. You're too rough with those babies. So he's back out, and I know, you know, he may still limp a little, but it's not fractured. Uh, uh, see now, Bella stitches, we went over, and how Shafta is. Goss asked how Shafta is. Shafta's doing fine. You know, she was so skinny and such a wee little thing when she first came. And so we've been, I don't see her right here, I'd show you. We've been supplementing, feeding her. And boy, does she like that. She enjoys it. She's gaining a good amount of weight now, and she's on a roll. She's doing great. <laughs> Bead, Beadla deal. Oh, my word. I know I miss. I know I did not read, write this right. But where is Hudson? Hudson is just about here, there, and everywhere. Little white. No, he was eating over here. Yeah, he was eating over there. Hudson and Cabas, oh my goodness, those two just are crazy boys together. They're absolutely nuts. One's chewing on the other, and the other's chewing on another part of them, and they're just crazy. And I, this morning I was working on the computer, and I heard this ruckusy noise, and a roaring and growling and grumbling, and here they are. It was like one ball just rolling and rolling, and... It was a maze of uh, of Cabas and Hudson. They they are two two crazy kitties. Uh, Michelin asked how the washer and dryer is. We love 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 the washer and dryer. Love it. Uh, MK Mouth and Nuki asked if there's a specific detergent. And yes, there is. It's H E detergent. Any of those new front loaders? And just like our last one, we did we do use the H E. One time we had a front loader and I didn't use the HE and I was surprised because I thought what's the difference of HE versus the two times or three times I thought you know they got to be about the same but we gunked up the motor and thank goodness they did cover it the uh, warranty on it but they told me you got to use the HE so I have always been very very good about that uh, we, we use the HE that's what they recommend and that's what we do um, part of that HE is that it keeps the suds down too, so that's what we need. Um, move cam in front. Oh, move cam in front. 
Uh, you know how I'm always creepily writing down everything, trying to get all the questions. What what we're eventually going to do, which would be really neat, the TV that's down here, we're going to maybe use maybe part of Patience's pin. I'm not quite sure how, what the setup will be. But, or up above the shelf here, where the, the, now I'm not computer literate, but the way I understand it, there will be a screen out here that's a touch screen that enables me, us, uh, racer or me, Kurt or me, to um, do the cam motions, like when we move things around on the cam or zoom in on things or do the light controls. And we will be able to do that out here and see it out here. So eventually, maybe I'll be able to actually see your questions out here too. So that that would be pretty cool. And Daystar asked about Putter's Tail. Putter's Tail is doing much better. We He has not had the wrap on for a couple days. And he's doing really good. And I'm glad because he didn't like it. And the poor kitties were suffering because he thought if his tail was going to be wrapped, he was going to be smacking some babies. And that's what he did. I wanted to show uh, Larray asked about our uh, our babes here. I've got three left in here. These are five dollars, and the shipping is is really nothing. We've been doing it for the five. I've got three left. This one is the wild bird seed, uh, and these are the they're nylon. They're nylon enforced. These are great for, some of them that was sold was going to be used for Christmas gifts or just to go to the stores, you know, and use them instead of the plastic bags that the stores do. The Special Kitty. And this one's a really nice big size to go shopping in. And then we have the Green Purina Cat Chow. So if anybody's interested, just let me know. Just email me. Don't do it over the cam because I, I, um, I miss things on that. So... So you can email me. And I'm pretty sure that Katie's uh, going to be making some more of these for us. We've been giving her some more of the bags. And uh, it's awfully nice of Katie to do that for us. And we have two envelopes to open. Uh, Bella. 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 Oh. She's gotten a whole bunch of cards. This says, are you going to get well soon? Oh, and this is from How, how Do... Or do I have to get crabby? Hurry up and heal, sweet Bella. We need our queen back. And this is from this is from Sherry. Look at that. I still remember the first time that I looked on um, Oh Cafe Press and saw that uh, pajama. Is it a pajama shirt or maybe it's a regular t-shirt and I think there is there a bag on Cafe Press with Bella and the first time I looked at that it's like that looks like Bella. I still can't get over how I didn't realize that they had worked. I think it was um, Kurt did that and made that. I thought that was really cool. What a resemblance. Okay let's see what this one is. to save the addresses. This is from Lee J. from Adams, Massachusetts. And it says, To Bella Boo, Hummer fan, and Luna the, oh, and Luna the cock, Cockatiel are hoping you will be bouncing around the joint real soon. We love you and want you healed really soon. We will be watching, beautiful girl, as you regain your throne. Get well soon. Aw, and a beautiful black and white kitty with the green eyes. Um, Bet, you asked me if I got your card. Um, let me run in and see see if I have that inside. Okay, I tried real hard not to lose anything. Oh. Are you comfortable in here? Yes, I do. I'm sorry. This was from... Um, 
Uh, oh, yeah, and the card from Steve for uh, Box Night for the Kitties from, from uh, Bats, 57. If I ever miss anything that you guys send or something that I should have mentioned, please, please don't ever hesitate to bring it up on my email because I, I mean, things happen and I try really hard to keep things straight. Uh, let's see here. Hi, Jackie. I am Beth on 57 on chat. I am new only two weeks. Oh, I didn't know it was just two weeks. Take this money, buy food for the baby kitties, Hudson and Smaller. I love Hudson. I wish I could take him, but I can't. Hubby is heart sick, and I'm bedridden on, oh, and on oxygen. I have had cats and dogs all my life and love them all. I do have a cat, all white, a uh, white, long hair domestic named Pup, who is 19 years old. I hope all my cats live to be 19. Uh, her vet says she has done real well with us because we keep her inside, never leaves my side, uh, and you are all our godsend to these animals. Vets, thank you. I appreciate your donation, and we will use it for things for the kitties. I appreciate it. It's Betsy, Betsy, um, or Beth. Thank you so, so very, very much. And I think I said earlier that that Mama Cat was Beth, and that was that was wrong. Thank you for your donation, and uh, just thank you for being here with us and supporting us and just boostering us up. And keep voting. We are still number one. Uh, we're at 2.16. The one below us, uh, oh, I forget the numbers on that, but I write it down every single day. And uh, I just vote and vote, and uh, when I can, of course, I, I, we do it the right way. So everybody, just please do do your votes. Ask your family, friends, email friends, anybody to help us vote so that we can stay in the lead there. And Tuesday, Tuesday is, as far as I know, is still a go for uh, the floor and that again is the uh, the big old office and the three new rooms out there Thumper's room the bathroom and um, what uh, Kurt's been using as his office and it's also our our greeting room and uh, so Monday as soon as we get the official word that that indeed is right we'll start hauling furniture everywhere I don't know what we're going to do with it all, but we'll figure it out. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy. And uh, we do, we have been trying to leave the audio on as much as what we can. And we'll continue to try to do that. Thank you for joining us. I've become a cat tree. Who's gotcha? Oh, you know, Emmeline has yeah. decided lately that she loves everybody. Yeah. I see her little skin problems have kind of crept up a little bit again on her face. Um, is she clawing in on you? Not too bad. I'm leaning on the new dryer. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that dryer, that comes in handy for lots of now things. Now you said, is it, you have loosened up or you have? It is. We've been running that. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. 